Hi, fifth grade. We're going to go over the solutions for lesson 82 of grammar. You need your lesson, you need something to correct with, and you need your book. We're on page 437. Number one is culpable. Number two is curator. Number three is heroic. Number four is saltiness. Number five is proclamation. Number six is abstract. Number seven is possessive. Number eight is whose, W-H-O-S-E. Number nine is better. Number 10 is third singular. Number 11 is whom. Number 12 is we. Number 13 is those. Number 14 is since. Number 15, a, to add the suffix est to angry, we need to change the y to an i. A-N-G-R-I-E-S-T. To add the suffix ing to the word win, we need to double the final consonant. W-I-N-N-I-N-G. Number 16 is a complete sentence. Number 17, to Alba, comma, done, appears blissful. Number 18, lavish is an adjective. The pronunciation is da, 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 like this. And it is from Latin. Number 19, we're going to use an appositive to create. Oh, sorry, nope, we already have the appositive. We're going to offset the non-essential appositive with commas. Boise, comma, the capital of Idaho, lies at the foot of the Rocky Mountains. Number 20, you need a period after doctor, after Monday, after January, and after two. Number 21 is he. Number 22, there are two prepositional phrases. Over the hill, hill is the object. Around the rocks, rocks is the object. Number 23, you need to capitalize Lulu, although, I, Cheyenne, Wyoming, I, Salem, Oregon. You need a comma after said, after Cheyenne, after, after Wyoming, and after Salem. You need quotation marks from although to Oregon. Number 24, is stealing, you just add ing, stole, S-T-O-L-E, has stolen, S-T-O-L-E-N. Number 25, we need to capitalize my, adrift, ice, pan. You need to put quotation marks around the title of the story. So you need to put quotation marks from adrift to pan. Number 26, Fido stole my pencil, comma, so I didn't do my homework. Number 27, we're gonna add commas and capital letters. You need to capitalize dear, Mrs. Bright, P-I is already capitalized. The, I, Juno, Alaska, respectfully, Officer Valiant. You need to put commas after the I of P-I, culprit, believe, Juno, respectfully. 
Number 28, we're going to diagram the simple subject and the simple predicate of each clause in the compound sentence. Our sentence is, bad check fled the country, but we shall find him, for we are detectives. So there are three clauses in this sentence. Bad check fled is the subject and predicate of the first clause. We shall find is the subject and predicate of the second clause. And we are is the subject and the predicate of the third clause. We need to diagram each word of sentences 29 and 30. Sentence 29, the mean, avaricious culprit swindled whom? So your diagram should look like this. Culprit is the subject. Swindled is the verb. It is an action verb. The direct object is whom. Culprit has three adjectives. The, a limiting adjective. Mean, avaricious. Mean and avaricious are descriptive adjectives. So this is what your diagram should look like. Sentence 30, Officer Valiant, Mrs. Bright's assistant, sent me a message about bad checks previous crimes. Okay, this is a slightly longer diagram because it's a slightly longer sentence. So, Officer Valiant is the subject of the sentence. Mrs. Bright's assistant is the appositive for Officer Valiant. Assistant is the noun of the appositive, so that's what goes in the parentheses after Officer Valiant. Mrs. Bright's is a possessive. It's a possessive adjective, so it's diagrammed underneath assistant. Sent is the predicate. It's an action verb. The direct object is message. The indirect object is me. The indirect object is diagrammed underneath the verb. Message is limited by A, and it is described with the prepositional phrase about bad checks previous crimes. About, the preposition is on the, the diagonal line. Crimes, the object of the preposition, is on the horizontal line. Bad checks previous are both adjectives. They are modifying crimes, so they are on the diagonal lines beneath that. This is what your diagram should look like. All right, those are the solutions for lesson 82. I hope you will join me later for lesson 83.